Next, we are going to configure the MapRedis plugin in the Eclipse IDE. First of all, you make sure that you have uh, you have to open this Hadoop appliance virtual machine and keep it on. And this IP address of this virtual machine is 192.168.111.28. After opening this, you just minimize it and uh, just open the e Eclipse. This is the Eclipse uh, SDK version of the Europa. <coughs> While opening for the first time, it will ask for the workspace. You just keep it as a default workspace or this as a default and give OK. Once the Eclipse is open, uh, this is the workbench window. Just go to this workbench window. In this workbench window, um, here this is the uh, perspective window. Just note it. Here, just uh, go to the right upper right corner of the workbench and click the open first. Just go to the here, click it and go to the other, select other here. You just see the map reduce window here. You just click it map reduce and give ok once you give this ok you will get the uh, map reduce uh, location here you can get the map reduce location here where you find that an elephant symbol you just and also in this bottom of this uh, eclipse window you also get this map reduce location you just in this uh, location you just right click it and give new Hadoop location uh, now we are going to create the Hadoop server on this Windows machine for this just give the new Hadoop location once you get this window you just give the name VM server VM server I am just giving any name it's a variable and uh, the host it will the next it will ask for the host here we have to enter the ip address of this hadoop virtual machine for example 192.168.74.128 so before you uh, give this virtual machine uh, ip address of virtual machine just go and go to the run window and ping it with the remote IP with that uh, IP 192.168.174.128 and give enter so once you give this you can see the replace once you get this reply means you are connected with the remote head of virtual machine then you will proceed further in the map reduce master port you just enter 9001 port number and the dfs master port number you just enter 9000 now after giving this the username is you just keep it as an hadoop user as as the username of the hadoop which means is the hadoop user then after configuring this one you just go to the advanced parameters where you find uh, the two um, locations one is hadoop.job.uga so here it is not found initially it will be uh, not uh, up, uh, up here so just go to the another option mapred.system. directory mapred.system. dr and locate this location and just delete this default one and give slash hadoop slash mapred slash system uh, this is the value you have to give in this mapred dot system dot dar so and um, so and uh, we have to also configure the hadoop dot shop so it is initially not found you just click finish 
and extract uh, here your uh, VM was our is configure here and uh, the content will be listed from this uh, remote uh, you can see it connected to the DFS VM was our map system so it will show the error because it is uh, initially that Hadoop the job is not initialized yet so we have to ping it the option again and thank you here you found now uh, the hadoop dot job dot uj is initialized now so once you have to refresh and uh, if you found this option if you configure this option everything will be configured well so in the first comma so you just replace the option of in the first comma like uh, you have to give hadoop uh, hyphen user in the first comma you just in the first comma you have to give that uh, hadoop hyphen user comma uh, remaining are the defaults then click finish once it is once you have finished just uh, right click it on the VMware server just you reconnect once you reconnect you will find the root folders of everything and uh, here you extract the hadoop extract the map red system so if if you find this option if you find this folder means the hadoop plugins are configured perfectly and also extract the user under there is one folder hadoop user if you find this all this folder you can able to see this folder means the the map plugin is configured perfectly